So as we continue on in Proverbs, we're now in chapter 6, looking at verse 17. Remember, we're talking about the things that God hates. And one of the things that God hates that are mentioned here are hands that shed innocent blood. Now, our mind automatically goes to things like what happened in Orlando, where a man just opened fire and, and killed 50 people. Or we think of aborted babies that have no choice. They're innocent. But, you know, unless we're in the practice of killing others or we're aborting babies, that doesn't really apply to us. And since all scripture is for our benefit, then we have to think about how does this apply to us? Well, here's how this scripture applies to us. We see others around us that uh, are doing the same things that we are and or have no fault. They're, they're not at fault for doing anything. And yet we scheme and make up lies and we say things that get them in trouble and put them in a bad light. Let me give you an example. So I worked with uh, two people, both of whom got on the internet quite a lot, both of whom uh, maybe weren't always heads down and working hard. One person tabbed on the other. Was that person guilty of the very same thing? Sure they were. The other person wasn't exactly innocent but it wasn't like the person that was the tattletale went and said, hey, I'm doing the same thing, but you, know, you need to watch her. No, no, totally just threw her right under the bus. So how often are we guilty of that very same thing? We might be doing the same thing we tattle on someone else about, but do we point the light at ourselves? No, we point that light at others. That's something God hates. He wants us to worry about us. He wants us to clean our house. And remember, there's a scriptural mandate or path of how to handle things like that. If you see someone that's doing something wrong, it's your obligation to go up to them and go, hey, listen, I think you need to correct. Correct yourself, correct them. Then you might want to go to the boss. Make sure that your house is clean and you're free of sin before you start going casting stones at somebody else. Want to read the whole devotional? Go to the link at the bottom of the page, and we'll see you tomorrow.